WCNC-TV, Charlotte. This is Carolina's News Channel 36. New estimates indicate 40,000 barrels of oil are gushing from that broken pipe in the Gulf of Mexico every day. And tonight, local experts just back from Louisiana tell us BP isn't accepting their offer of a cure. We told you two weeks ago about a Matthews company that sells a product that they claim would help get rid of that oil in the water. They took it straight to Louisiana this week, and Beth Shane tells us they are back tonight even more frustrated than before. He's live at NBC News Channel, where new information is coming in about that spill by the hour. Beth? Well, it's not that BP and the government are telling this company no per se. It's really that they're saying not yet. But they tell me, given what they saw in the Gulf firsthand, that is a very frustrating wait and see. Fresh off the plane in Monroe tonight, Matt Barnhill of Clift Industries and Matthews is feeling more than just jet lag. We were shocked. It was, uh, it's, it's worse than we imagined. He and his team went to Louisiana this week with hopes of selling officials there on their product, a natural solution of microbes and enzymes they tell us could help clean up the Gulf starting now. We got a demonstration of how it breaks down the crude a few weeks ago. And it basically turns it into carbon dioxide and water. Microbes consume it like we do food. They breathe out carbon dioxide just like we do. They're waste as water. Their team got meetings with the Louisiana governor's office and with the Coast Guard as well. But in the end, it'll be up to BP if they use their solution. It's BP's decisions. That's what we were told today. And perhaps more importantly, when. And we left with hopes, but uh, every day that we wait, more stuff is getting really messed up down there. It's really bad. Warren Oil, a company from Dunn, North Carolina, markets the cleanup solution. They spearheaded this mission to the Gulf. Their communications director tells me tonight BP is missing the forest for the trees here and missing out at the expense of the environment. It's like having the cure for cancer, but not being able to get it to the patient. It's just really frustrating. Now this product will be on a list of options that is presented to a BP committee. And of course, both of these companies do stand to make money off of all this. They do tell me that they are in touch with a team that's watching to see if oil makes its way to the North Carolina coastline as well. They will likely be involved in the cleanup there if that happens. I'm live with our mobile newsroom from NBC News Channel. Beth Shane, News Channel 36. All right, Beth. Well, today the families of the 11 workers killed when that Deepwater Horizon oil rig exploded met with President Obama at the White House. He met with them in private for nearly an hour. Uh, the father of one of those victims told reporters the president promised that he would not forget about them. Those families also urged Mr. Obama to support changes to the Death on the High Seas Act, which limits compensation to survivors of those who die in international waters. BP stock is up 12 percent today after falling steadily since the rig explosion, costing BP the spot as Britain's biggest company. Uh, the company closed at 32.78 a share. It's still rising in after-hours trading. Analysts have called the recent sell-off an overreaction.